Hey guys, and CS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to another one of those trophy achievement list analysis videos that you guys do seem to enjoy quite a bit. This time, it is only a trophy list, not an achievement list. Today's game is Infamous Second Son, a PS4 exclusive that's going to drop in only about a week from now, which is kind of awesome, so not too far away. So the story of the game goes something like this. Seven years after the good ending of Infamous 2, so the good ending, not the bad ending, seven years later, conduits are basically a national security threat, and the government wants to wipe them out because a few somehow survived the blast from the end of uh, Infamous 2. So, the DUP, the Department of Unified Protection, is formed, and their goal, like I said, is to stop conduits from doing anything really bad. That's sort of the story, and the character you play as, his name, I believe, is Delson in the modern Seattle, so it's actually in a real city for once. So, you play as him, he unlocks some hidden conduit powers after coming into contact with one, and you play as him. So, yeah. So... Without further ado, let's start looking at the trophy list. So like I said, sorry Achievement Hunters, this is a PS4 exclusive, so no achievements. So, the trophy list. Platinum. Enjoy your powers. Collect all trophies. That was... that's typical Platinum. Our two gold trophies are Reconciliation and Rebellion. Finish the story with good karma, finish the story with evil karma. So that means that karma is going to play probably a pretty big role in this game. But that's good to know that Karma is going to be in the game again, and two gold trophies for beating the game, so that means two playthroughs. Silver trophies, unstoppable, finish the game on expert difficulty, that seems pretty self-explanatory. Now, I have not ever really played Infamous 2, so whenever I talk about trophies and difficulty and stuff, I'm going to be talking about Infamous 1. But from what I've been told, Infamous 2 is a lot shorter and easier to both beat and a platinum so yeah that's i think it's better just to compare it to infamous one anyway so since expert is only a silver trophy in this game that means it's probably not going to be that difficult or they just aren't putting too much emphasis on it true hero achieve level five good karma and infamous achieve level five evil karma so that means karma is going to have levels sort of like what you saw in infamous one i think that's cool i like having that in the game Shardcore, collect all the blast shards. I really hope there aren't going to be 350 of them again. Because I really do not like that many collectibles in a game. So I hope there won't be too, too many of them this time around. Blinded, destroy all the DUP security cameras. Uh, that seems pretty easy. Though there's presumably a lot of them because it's a silver trophy. And there's another one called Big Brother, destroy all DUP hidden cameras. So what's really the difference between those? I mean, it seems like sort of the same thing, but I guess there is some kind of difference? Inside Track, collect all the informant audio logs. That one sounds probably a lot like the dead drops from Infamous 1. So yeah, that sounds fairly simple. And Blown Cover, defeat all the DUP secret agents. So my assumption with that is that they're going to be like either stealth enemies or mini bosses or something if there's a whole silver trophy for them. That would be my expectation for it. Coloring inside the lines, complete all the stencil art. I don't know if that's going to be just another sort of collectible trophy or if it's going to come while beating the story or what. So I guess we'll see along the way though. Final Showdown. Complete all the District Showdowns in the city. So, I'm wondering what District Showdowns are actually going to be. If I had to assume, they're going to be, like, basically just wiping out a whole bunch of enemies in, like, a big massive fight. Which will be kind of cool if that's true, but that would be my assumption to it. Clean Sweep. Clear the DUP out of the entire city. That's probably just, like, clearing out all the districts like we saw in Infamous 1. So, probably nothing too special there. Side missions. Now we get to the bronze trophies, and the first, I believe, ten of these are pretty significant spoilers to the game, so stop listening now if you don't want to have it spoiled, potentially. Alright, you've been warned. Sacrifice. Risk your freedom to protect those you care about. Ruthless. Look out for yourself, no matter the consequences. Temperance. Practice self-control. Malice. Get them before they get you. Courage. Stand up for the helpless. Contempt. Don't fear the weak. Mercy. Everyone deserves a second chance. Revenge. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Justice. Expose the corruption of the powerful. Dominance. Show the world that nobody can protect them. So yeah, guys, those are the good and evil side karma trophies, if I had to assume by their descriptions. 
So that seems pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You'll probably get those over the two playthroughs that would be required for evil and good karma. Now we have some of the more miscellaneous trophies. Everybody out. Rescue 10 suspects from suspicion pens. So those are probably people that the DUP considers to be conduits and you have to rescue them somehow. Maybe by killing a small group of DUP people. Spin-off. Beat down 10 sign twirlers. Everybody's a critic. Take out 10 street musicians and just say no. Bust 10 drug dealers. So those all sound really, really easy. I don't see much difficulty in any of those, though. What do you have against street musicians and sign twirlers, though, game? Freedom of speech. Disrupt 10 activist rallies. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. I don't know if that means activists against the DUP or against the conduits or what. But I guess we'll see when the game comes. But that sounds fairly simple. Those might be like random events and stuff if I had to assume. What did you call me? Question mark. Kill 10 obnoxious Akurin gang members. So I'm wondering if that means that there's going to be gangs in the game in addition to the DUP. Because it sounds like the DUP is going to be the main enemy though. So I guess we'll find out once again when the game comes out. Someone your own size. Now this one's really interesting. Rescue 10 escaped conduits from angry mobs. So that means conduits that I guess have escaped from the DUP and are now being attacked by angry mobs and you have to help them. So my assumption by that, I mean, from what I've seen from the game, Delson seems like more of a bad guy almost than Cole McGrath always did. So maybe he's sort of naturally a bad guy and helping out the conduits may not be karma specific. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Walk it off. Heal 10 wounded wounded civilians that one sounds pretty self-explanatory that means the healing ability is coming back kicking and screaming finish off 10 wounded enemies or civilians also seems pretty easy bleep 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 collect half the blast shards uh that one well i guess we've already seen the silver trophy for collecting all of them so nothing too special about that nothing to see here destroy half the dup security cameras nothing too special there prank call complete a district showdown Hello Operator, complete showdowns in half the districts. So I'm wondering, by the way they say that, like, do you manage to, like, call in the DUP to come, like, attack you and then you get to wipe them out? I don't know, but that would be kind of cool. One down, clear the DUP completely out of a district. I will assume that there are, that means that there are at least two, maybe three districts in this game. That would make sense, though, because that means more to the game. Home field advantage, clear the DUP out of half the districts in the city. Total carnage. Destroy five cars in five seconds. That seems pretty simple. Uh, drop everything. Comet drop over 170 meters. If that's the power that I'm thinking of, that power looks really freaking cool. However, 170 meters is a long way. That's about 600 feet, I believe. So that's actually pretty far. So I don't know if that's all at once or if it's going to be like over the course of the game. Uh, but it, it, that is a pretty long way for a single drop. Keep it up. Stay in the air for more than 45 seconds. That doesn't sound too difficult. That means there's going to be like a static thruster flight ability again, which is pretty cool. Always like abilities like that. Put that anywhere. Defeat 10 enemies by detonating ammo crates. That sounds fairly easy. Hat trick. Defeat an enemy using three different power sources. I'm wondering if that means use like three different power sources to drain power or what. But that's actually kind of an interesting trophy. Okay, this next one is really, really weird, and it's probably going to be like a one-time deal during the game. Double smokestack attack. Dis dash through two red air vents without touching the ground and then comet drop on an enemy. That is like really, really overly specific and just kind of odd, so I'm assuming there may only be like one time in the game that you can do it. Cough drop. Comet drop on three coughing enemies. It doesn't say if it has to be all done at once or if it can be done over the course of the game, but that sounds pretty simple. Make fetch proud. Hit three weak points with neon beam in six seconds. If I had to assume what the neon beam is, it is probably like the precision attack of Infamous 1. So that seems like it'll be pretty simple. Just have to hit, attack, hit a few attacks with it pretty quickly. That would just require a lot of energy. And finally, Excessive Force. Use a Karmic Streak to defeat exactly one enemy. So, Karmic Streak. I'm wondering if that means, like, the Overload Burst or the Karmic Overload of Infamous 1. I don't know, but I guess we'll see. But that sounds very simple. So, overall, this looks like a fairly simple Platinum Trophy. It looks to be on par with Infamous 1 and 2. I would give it an initial 4 to 5 out of 10, but it doesn't really strike me as being all that difficult. I do hope the game has as much replay value and, like, stuff to it as Infamous 1 does, because I know that Infamous 2 is a lot shorter. So that would be my hope, that it's going to be fairly long and have a lot more to it. 
So that's it for this Platinum Trophy list analysis video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Infamous Second Son drops on March 21st, 2014. That's only about a week away. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Look forward to Infamous Second Son. And I'll see you guys for another one of these Achievement Trophy analysis videos sometime in the future.